Hey guys, uh, this is March 13th, 2012, and uh, this is my first day after I took my first shot of testosterone. Hey everybody, it's Rob. Um, this is my one year on testosterone video, and I know that a lot of guys say that time just flies and I can't even believe it's been a year, but it really, it seems to have flown. So. I'm just going to do a quick little video here on the changes that I've already mentioned, but I'm just going to sum it all up uh, for what I've experienced in one year so far. Um, my pheromones and my body odor have changed significantly. Uh, I stink so much quicker and easier now, you know, by the end of the day, it's just, I'm rotten. Uh, hair growth all over the place just about anywhere you can think of. Um, and because of the hair, I'm also getting, you know, acne breakouts everywhere. The hair is trying to come in where it wasn't before. So um, that's one of the things that's kind of hard for me to deal with is the acne. But um, the voice, the voice change uh, has significantly dropped, as you can tell from the the other video that was attached to the beginning of this one um it's quite a difference and i can't even i notice that i can't stand listening to my voice from before it's just so weird that i just feel like that's not even me so um anyway another thing that's cool the fat redistribution um it's mainly going off of my hips and my butt that's where it's most noticeable that it has just slimmed down considerably um, so that's great. Uh, I don't feel like my boobs have shrunk at all though. Like <laughs> I just wish they would deflate and then it would be easier to, uh, to pass, you know, uh, without having top surgery, but nope, got big boobs. Can't help it. They're not going away. So, um, the muscle growth that I've experienced so far is purely without working out. Um, I just have not worked out and <laughs> I need to and I should but I didn't and it's it's going all right though I mean I can't complain um my road rage has gotten worse I just um my tolerance for stupid people on the road is just so much less than it used to be um another thing I notice is my head is fatter um when I was putting on some of my ball caps, I had to let them out a couple notches because it was just too snug. It was squeezing down on my forehead and uh, they just don't fit like they used to. So somehow my head got fatter. I don't know if it's fat or muscle. Um, I do know that I, when I clench my jaw, I can flex and these little things come out my forehead. Um, yeah, anyways, it's weird, but it's probably a mix of fat and muscle. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> so the um, the veins in my arms and my hands are just becoming more... Um, they poke out more than they used to. Uh, I never really had really veiny looking hands, but it's definitely more than, than they used to be. Um, my downstairs growth has has continued and is quite sizable compared to the original size. Uh, I, I do believe my period finally stopped. Um, and now that I say that, I'm probably jinxing it and it might come back. But uh, I last month, I just experienced a tiny little bit of spotting or whatever. And it, it didn't seem to last for more than like a day. So hopefully it is not going to come back. <laughs> um, and one of the other like major things that I've noticed throughout this last year is my overall happiness uh, with myself and others and my confidence. Um, those are just, I mean, it's a big deal when you look back and kind of see how you were before and you just, you know that you weren't happy. Um, so I really think that I've progressed since then and um, yeah, I mean, I, I look forward to the next year. It's it's going to be great. Um, so I also wanted to mention that I went to the endocrinologist last week uh, for my one-year checkup, and he said everything looks good. My testosterone levels are great. Um, 
but he said that the red blood cells uh, the count is a little high and so he's going to want to monitor that a little closer and also the liver results um, are concerning him a little bit it's it's nothing that's a huge red flag at this point but he wants me to come back in three months and um, and we're going to check it again and see if it's gotten worse or if it's just stabilized um, yeah and then last Friday I had my anniversary party uh, because I had the day off of work, so it just seemed to work out. Um, I combined it with a fundraiser for my top surgery, and I made uh, a little over $200 just from people that attended. And uh, we did some bowling and we did some karaoke. Uh, I got extremely drunk and I had a blast. I can't remember the last time I had that much fun. Um, good friends were there and uh, family showed up. And also there was a uh, journalist from the local newspaper and a photographer. Um, they're doing uh, a story in a couple months regarding transgender issues and um, healthcare for trans people issues and uh, all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, I thought it was great. Um, I invited them to come to the party. Um, and hopefully when that story comes out, you know, hopefully it opens a lot of people's eyes to uh, kind of all the shit we have to go through. Um, we're not treated as equals to anybody, so hopefully things will um, progress in that way. So, uh, Also, I had my birthday on February 23rd and my sister got me a tattoo and um, I got the tattoo of a trans symbol that I asked Lindsay to design and um, I kind of like the black ink tribal type of um, look to it, I guess. So uh, what Lindsay did, I had it put on my shoulder, like right here kind of. And uh, because I'm wearing this shirt, I can't really like take it off right now, but I have a picture on my phone I'll show you. And uh, yeah, so it turned out pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. It was a great birthday gift. And uh, yeah, so that's all I have. One year on testosterone. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being so supportive.